a little intro, we saw some minting tools that I've been using quite frequently. We yeah, also there's some expensive ones and some cheaper ones. And there's also like some of them you might consider getting a node for them. So yeah. Of course the Urban AIO. Still like it. The floor price has been coming up steadily. And I think the last mints I hit with it were on the match Eden side. I got one of these NFTs, the club, and I minted the 18 bridged NFTs using the Urban AIO with um, this one. So yeah, it seems like it's pretty good. The match Eden launch pad ones, the candy machine ones haven't been having too much luck. Hoping that um, I'll get to try it again and it will uh, work. There's this new one I got actually, the Feather Mints. And this one was 20 sold of mint, so it was really expensive. I actually minted three of them. I sold this one for 26 and this one for 28. But I haven't actually tried to use it yet, so I don't know if it works. I'm hoping it works. I definitely know that you need a node for this one. You need a node. I have the feather I have the feather node actually minted for three. And the cool part about this feather node is you can actually pick two um, locations. So they have an EU and a US server. You can whitelist two IPs for that one. Based on the AWS, you can pick the instance you want. I've been using this one lately. The um, M5 and the 24X large. I've been using that one for the urban. I probably mentioned the location. So the US one is this one. And the EU one is down here. The uh, Frankfurt one. The instance I was using on the Soul tools actually with the P9 node. I might switch it up to using the Feather Mints one and then the P9 on this one. The M5 ZN. Speaking of the Soul tools, I find this one pretty decent actually for minting the Kanyushi Mints on top of it having the Vault Manager and the Sniper. That's our thing. Floor price is lower because maybe it's not as good, but it is pretty decent. I have the P9 one and then the Feather Mints one. You can check those ones out, or you can check out like maybe this one. And the Mint Tour, you can check this one out as well. I haven't used this one. But I do definitely see that it's been performing pretty well. So, and the higher scripts one, apparently this one has a RPC on top of it. So that yeah. it's kind of I'm not showing all the tools in detail. Who I have, but these are some of my favorite ones. Once the Featherman starts working, I might make a video about it, about like setting up and stuff like that, and how I like I'm um, using it. First side things, just to sort of wrap up there, the Minton one, I still like it. Just on the Minton, I like that you can check the supply, how much is left, and as well you can search the candy machine ID from the website. So I mentioned the soul tools, I also like using this function, the load one. You can load the contract and see how much NFTs are left. So when you should stop your instances. This one's the young money. I like this one just for degenerates. You can just click as many tabs as you want um, over here. And then you can just mint them. You can try this one actually. I was using the young money full auto on it. And it's pretty fun. For today, those are all the tools I found useful that I use pretty often. Subscribe to the channel for upcoming launches, that sort of thing. As well, you can join our free little turn.